Okay, so this is quite an old PR, um, but Jasmine did a little bit of work on it over um, the Christmas period. Um, so it adds um, sorting and um, and reordering um, to the list part. Um, so I'll show you the, the content definition for the blog post first. Um, so see so we have a blog post. Um, and what we actually need to look at is the blog, which has the list part on it. And on here we have a setting called enable ordering, which if you enable it, and then click on the blog, will give the ability just to move things up and down and reorder everything. Um, so that was set an ordered property on the, um, there was a property there already, but we we're only able to set it through recipes. Um, and then when we actually view the blog, we'll see number 18 first. Number 17, 16 and, and, and so on and so forth. Um, so reasonably simple PR actually. Um, and just enables you to use lists in a, in a slightly different way if, if you need to actually maintain a, a different order to the default, which would be uh, created the created date, I believe. There is no simple PR. No simple PRs, no. So for instance, I will ask the hard question. Yeah. There is no answer to this question. Um, if I have a draft and a published version of a blog post, what do you move? Um, it depends how you want your ordering to work. Uh, there's no answer to that. Yeah, there, there's no, there is no easy answer to some of these questions, and the same applies with um, localization. Um, but right now, what what will happen? Um, I mean, well, I okay. So if you publish the draft, then it will be in the same position. It's not about drafting; it's whatever content item you are displaying, it will be in the order of the thing. Where is the state stored then? The state is stored on the container part. Do we still call it a container part? Something like this, but the part is on the blog post, okay? Like say... It's the one that gets... Um, but there are, two, there are two versions of the document, so I'm wondering where you store them. That's the... Yeah, on the contained part. Um, so there's two versions of the document. Um, when it gets published as draft, it will go in. When it when it gets when you publish a new one or create a new one, it will go in at the end. Um, so technically, it is possible to have items that are not necessarily in in sync. Take eighteen, okay, and uh, create a draft. Okay, move 18. Okay, go on the front end. So you move the published version. So now you go back. Yeah. Now go back and then um, publish a draft. Now it's second, it's not even first. <laughs> And this is the problem with some of these things. There is no simple PR. I mean, we don't even know what we should expect from it. Maybe we could expect that while well, I move the 18, so even if I the draft and the content published are not depending on the draft and the publish, so it should have stayed fifth even if I publish a draft. What I mean is that when you change it, when you change the position, you are changing whatever the la latest version is. You should have changed the latest, the published, or the latest. Meaning if there is no published, take the latest. But if there is a published, take the published. Yeah, I always say. And but no, because here you which you Hey, you yes. changed the order in, in two, two different ways that are unexpected. That's the issue. Or maybe we need to check to take take always the latest. And this way. Maybe that's it. Maybe you always always need to take the latest. 
to change later so that when you publish it won't lose its state. But then if you discard the draft, then you are going with the old publish. That's, that's, I don't know how to solve it. Um, well, maybe that's why we didn't do the order in the first place. It was too complex. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, it was something we used to have in Orchard One, which um, I missed, so I, I wrote it. Um, and I don't think we handle it any differently there, but I would have to go back and have a look at the code again. It's, I don't disagree with the usefulness of ordering lists for blog posts. It doesn't make sense for sure because we usually want to see blog posts by date, but some lists will have to be ordered. So, um, well, I assume that's fine because there is, you know, until someone finds a, a good solution to that, Bertrand. Yeah, I mean, there was, there's other options like um, putting the order last um, when you create a draft, for example, always making it the last item. Um, but then you lose it in the list when you've got a when you've got a big list that's paged. So you need to be the first item, um, but then you need to reorder them all. Um, so I, I did this in the way in a way that it has to retrieve as few items when you insert a new one as possible, um, so that it's not super heavy on the the SQL queries. Yeah. Do we have a versionless kind of data in Orchard? Is it like localization? Um, maybe that's the way to do it. May yes, that's it. I know. Boom. Fixed it. Hey, tell me. Um, you just have to update the latest and the published version. And done. That actually makes sense. Yeah. So then you just what you're seeing on the screen is what you're going to get, no matter what. It's, it's, it's not worse than having an uh, un. Um, how do you say that? An order that you can't know what it will be like. You remove the draft and boom, it went away. I'm like, why? So I think it's better. At least it's a it's a better solution to just update latest and publish so that you are sure that when you move something, well. You moved all the versions the same way we fixed the localization uh, discrepancies between two, con two versions. We sync them. So here, when you want some data that is across versions, you just copy the same data on all versions, and, and that works. So yes, if you could, I, does it sound good just to update latest and published and then done? Yeah, it makes sense because then it's then it's consistent where you see it. Um, and when when you publish it, it's not going to change. It's just where it is in the in the, in the yeah. order. Yeah, it makes yeah, perfect. Okay, I like yeah. it. Yeah, Good. done. Okay, first demo. Thanks. Cool. Okay, um, next demo. So, do you agree that once you have done that, you can merge your branch? Okay. okay. Don't, wait, don't wait for me. I will sort that out. You might have to wait a year. <laughs> One more year. <laughs>